Hey there, it's Craig from Unleashed Education here and you're watching another editing toolbox video. For this week's video, I'm working on this image of um, several Chihuahuas who are from Chihuahua Rescue, all available for adoption at the moment. And this is the cover shot for the Chihuahua Rescue calendar this year, which I've been shooting for them for several years. I'm at the stage in the edit of this image now where I want to actually start adding some sparkle to the dog's eyes. And this is probably something that you've seen me do if you've watched any of my other edits a few times before, but it works a little bit differently when you've got multiple dogs in an image. So I'm going to show you how to add sparkle to multiple dogs' eyes. zoom in on these dogs you can see obviously each dog has a different color eye so some are darker than others some are quite light and if we run my glitter eyes action and I just use a sparkle bright here with the brush if I apply the same amount of brightening to all of the eyes it's more successful and less successful depending on on what we're doing so just making one universal adjustment on every single dog is not really the best way to do this. So instead, I'm going to apply it to each dog individually. Now, I won't use my action for this. I have got this in the membership for people to download in my Sparkle editing course, but I'll show you how to do it without the action. With this layer, I'm going to first make an adjustment on brightness and a little bit of saturation. So let's zoom in and let's just go for this guy in the middle. I'll make a curves adjustment with command and M and I'll just bring that curve up to brighten it. Once I've got the lightness I'm happy with, I'll just OK that. And then I'll make a saturation adjustment with command and U and I'll just increase the saturation a little bit. I'm not too worried at this stage if my adjustment is a little bit exaggerated or is too much because I can go back and reduce that afterwards with my layer opacity. Now I'll make a mask on this layer. I will invert the mask and I'll use a white brush to paint in the areas that I want to brighten. So usually with brightening, I do the colored part of the eyes and I do the catch lights as well. So if we zoom this out, I can get an idea of if I've gone too far on the adjustment or not and if I need to actually adjust my opacity on the layer. If I feel that the adjustment is too much I'll just take that down to a level where I think is acceptable. You don't want to make the dog's eyes all sparkly but intense and scary and creepy looking. You want to still make them look natural. You just want to add a little bit of extra shine. Okay so that's the first dog. So now I'm going to look at any of the other dogs with really dark eyes that I think might need lightening up about the same amount. So this dog here is quite dark as well. So let's lighten those bits up. Again, the colored part of the eyes and the catch lights. That one's not quite as dark. That one obviously is really bright. These eyes are quite dark as well. And that one's not quite as bad. So I think those are the dogs with the darkest eyes they can all do with about the same level of adjustment each. Okay, looking at that, I'm happy with those adjustments. So I'll just merge this layer down with Command and E, press Command and J to duplicate this again. And then I'm going to work on the other dogs. So I'll increase the curves again. And I'm just looking at this end dog here and working on, on this one. Another mask. Command and I to invert it and we'll zoom back in and use the brushes again. Now there was this guy who was about the same I think and those are quite light as well. So I'll command and E to flatten that again, command and J and I think that now I'm, I'm happy with the brightness in both of these dogs eyes. I will sharpen them to add that extra bit of sparkle now. And that's with a high pass adjustment. So I go filter, other, high pass. Usually I'm hovering around six to eight pixels for this. 
what I'm looking for in this adjustment is that I can just start to see some of that color coming back through the sharpness on the high pass here into the eyes. So we're about there on this image and I think that that will be enough. Um, again, if we go too far, we can pull this back afterwards as well. Now we've okayed that, I can just go from normal to either overlay or soft light on our layer blending modes. Sometimes one will look better than the other. I think in this case, overlay definitely looks better. And then we're going to create another mask and you guessed it, we'll invert it and we'll use a brush. I am going to brush the whole of the eye this time. I want to sharpen the whole eye on each dog. And we should be okay to do the same level of sharpening on each of the eyes. So I'm going to do all of the eyes this time. Let's take that back and have a look at that full screen. I'll turn this layer off and turn it back on again. And I think that it's a little bit too much, so I'll just knock this opacity back, maybe to around 80%. Yeah, I think that adds just about enough sparkle to each of them. And that's basically it. That's how to deal with multiple dogs in an image and get a nice level of eye sparkle and brightness in each one. So just a quick recap, you're going to have a new layer with a curves adjustment and a saturation adjustment to each of the dog's eyes or to the dogs who have got similar colored eyes. Then you'll repeat the process. Then when you've done each eye and brighten them up, you'll make your high pass sharpening layer and you'll sharpen all of the eyes together. So hopefully that is a useful tip for you for this week's editing toolbox and I will see you again very soon.